Well, looking around the world now, the North Korean crisis continues to smolder. South Korea is aggressively stepping up their military posture in response to the North Korean threat. Ron Allen reports from Seoul. Today, the South Korean military letting it be known that they are forming what they call decapitation squads that can infiltrate North Korea, the goal to assassinate the leadership. The South Koreans also today unveiled yet another advanced, sophisticated weapon, what they say is a cruise missile that can evade radar, fired from a fighter jet, and hit targets hundreds of miles away. Another round of live fire military exercises today. These are happening. These shows of force are happening just about every day now as the South Koreans aggressively step up their military posture here in the face of a North Korean threat. The military is still on high alert. A lot of expectations that the North may fire off more ballistic missiles in response to those UN sanctions that were passed yesterday. Sanctions that are aimed at cutting off money and fuel flowing to the North. Sanctions that fall well short of what the United States wanted, like a total oil embargo, for example. Even President Trump saying that these are just a small step forward and warning of more consequences to come if the North doesn't back down. But that's where we are again today. More angry rhetoric from the North, the increasing military posture of the South, and the Daily Watch continuing to see if North Korea carries out its threat to fire off more missiles. Ron Allen, NBC News, Seoul.